Hi, I'm Tom Graham and this is Todd Mostek. We're the co-founders of MapD, a startup based in Cambridge that's built a super fast GPU database into the memory on NVIDIA's Tesla K40s. So what we have up here on the demonstration screen is our demonstration of Twitter data. We've visualized over a billion tweets and you can see them, analyze them, visualize them in real time. So you'd search the entire database in just a couple of milliseconds and return the results. You can see here live tweets popping onto the system, streaming onto the system in real time. So Todd might explain a little bit more about the architecture of a database. Hi, um, I've been working on MapD for the last year and a half. I'm actually a researcher at MIT CSAIL, uh, the computer science laboratory. Um, MapD is basically an in-memory column store that's built into the memory, onboard memory of GPUs, and so it exploits the massive parallelism and the high uh, memory bandwidth of these GPUs. Um, here we're running on eight GPUs, eight of NVIDIA's K40s for 96 gigs of memory. Um, so here you can see tweets are streaming in, so we can do these interesting queries. Let's so, so this is a heat map of tweet density. I'm gonna then we can actually look and see where people say what in America. So we do ain't. Okay, well ain't is evidently a southern phenomenon. We can also see words down here that co-locate with ain't. So people often say y'all if they say ain't. We can also look at, say, in Boston, often people say wicked. And sure enough, it shows up right here. Finally, in California, they do hella. Um, so I'm going to show you something here. If we look at church, okay, so the church is this southern phenomenon. The other thing of interest is that there's this weekly uh, weekly spike in church. So Tom's going to show you something interesting that occurs on Wednesday here. So what we found is you see church hits on Sundays, as you'd expect, and it's a southern kind of thing. But we saw this little peak here, and we're wondering what that was. So we can zoom in on the data, and we can see if we collapse the time bar, so we're only sampling from the tweets in, at this time on what looks like Wednesday evening, we can see that it's all over the United States and we've got this over in this uh, cloud. You can see the words that co-locate with church and Eric is there. So I'll click on Eric and it will add it to our search. And we see Country Music Awards pops up. So it turns out that I think Eric Church is a country music star. Um, we can search for links related to Eric Church embedded in the tweets by searching HTTP. And what do we see? Uh, a couple of different tweets there. Open that up a little bit. If we click on one, opening someone's sound tracking. Met someone else. You can open Twitter feeds. People talking about trending over H uh, the Country Music Awards. And, yep. and so there you go. The real power of this system is that we can look at big data sets in real time and in an interactive manner. So you can take billions of data points, look at them on one screen, and take that little idea that you have and focus in on it, zoom in on the map, focus down on the data that you'd like to look at, and start to iterate on the hypothesis that you're building, and turn that little idea into maybe a big idea. Or suddenly you look at the map and there's something else happening that you'd like to investigate, and there's another big idea. So that's the power of real-time and interactive big data processing and analytics, which is what we at MapD specialize in.